Hurricane Michael heading for direct impact on the Florida Panhandle. The latest on this dangerous storm is our top story on Eyewitness News at noon. Well, good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Kelly Byrne. Hurricane Michael is now a category four storm with winds up to 145 miles an hour. Its leading edge is lashing northwest Florida and you can see the ocean boiling along the Florida Panhandle. It's the most powerful storm on record to hit this section of the coast. Nearly 400,000 people were told to evacuate. And for those who didn't get out, Florida Governor Rick Scott issued a shelter in place order. Reporter Michael Clark is in Panama City, Florida with the conditions there. We're at the Panama City Marina and Hurricane Michael continues to turn closer. We're going to walk outside and kind of just give you a look at the conditions. You can kind of see already some of the uh, branches and limbs of some of the trees here in the parking lot have already uh, kind of fallen off and the wind is really intense. The, the rain has kind of been sideways. It's really rocking these boats over here. As you can just see, uh, they are all tied down as best that they can be with ropes. We're going to kind of get you as close as we can to show you how high the water already is and how rough and violent that water is as it is getting very close to the top of the dock. So we've already seen a couple of the boat owners coming by earlier uh, checking on property. Not sure what it will look like once Hurricane Michael and the storm surge really makes its way through here. The camera's losing the ability to uh, keep the water out of the lens because of all the rain that we continue to have here. The wind is picking up as well and continues to do so. Uh, we're going to at some point have to get out of the elements here. Our uh, stations are going to have to call this for our safety so that we're not in the middle of these elements. The wind speeds have been uh, upwards of 120 to 140 miles an hour reported uh, where the storm is. So I uh, want to give you one more look out at the wide view of the ocean here. Go ahead if you can show them well just the violent uh, whipping of the waves here. I mean, it's just incredible uh, to see the power of Mother Nature. Uh, obviously, this is nowhere near uh, the potential that we will see once uh, Hurricane Michael has made its way through here. But this is just a glimpse of the power that we're already seeing so far. We'll, of course, be safe throughout the day and bring you any updates as we get them. For now in Panama City, Michael Clark, back to you. Unbelievable to see that, Michael. Thank you. And first responders from Pennsylvania are heading to Florida and Alabama. Known as the PA Task Force One, a fleet of 12 vehicles, 45 first responders, Just and three search ready. dogs left Philadelphia last night. They are heading to storm damaged areas. Uh, most of the task force members just returned from the Carolinas where they provided aid after Hurricane Florence. There are one of 28 task forces in the country that are sanctioned by FEMA. But now